Carl World with us right now on the significance of this back and forth. Or the Mayorkas thing, I don't know where that's going. It doesn't look promising beyond the House, whatever happens in the House. This $118 billion measure, not perfect, Carl, but uh, do Republicans risk here? Again, with, for all maybe valid reasons, um, you know, taking away something that can look closer to the kind of border activity that they want to see. Less, fewer people, I should say, coming in, more restrictions on amnesty and who's granted it, and on and on. What do you think? Yeah, well, look, I think you're right, Neil. This, this measure has more ICE agents, and it ends the catch, uh, it changes catch and release to catch and detain by put, having more detention beds so that when people come across the border and get caught, they can be detained. It tightens the standards for what people can claim for, as asylum. For example, if you could have stayed in a part of the, your country and, and applied for asylum there, or if you came through another country from your original country and could have applied for asylum there, you cannot claim asylum. You have to go back. And they would adjudicate the cases faster so that what happens is people come here, they make claims of asylum. It may take 10 years to get that claim uh, adjudicated, and it turns out they weren't, they weren't capable of getting asylum. But in the meantime, they get to stay here for 10 years. And here's the key point. Uh, the, the congressman talked about uh, you would have to let in 4,000 people a day. No! What it says is it establishes what's called border emergency powers. If you have 5,000 people a day or 8,500 in a week, an average of 5,000, or 8,500 in any single day, the president can invoke these powers and say, nobody comes across, you immediately get returned. We are not accepting anybody to apply for asylum because the point is, is we get to a point where we have so many people coming through, they flood through the system, they run out of beds to retain them, and they then release them on their own recognizance and we never see them again. So what this says is, is that if you've got so many people trying to come across the border that you know you're going to run out of detention space, you have the power, the pre a president has the power to say, nobody who comes across the border can stay. You have to be immediately returned back into Mexico or wherever you came from, and they have dramatic increase in money to get move people out of the yeah. country, either back across the border or by plane. You know, the Wall Street Journal, a largely conservative publication, you write brilliant columns for it yourself, but it said, by any measure reckoning, this is the most restrictive migrant legislation in decades. Now, a lot of people counter and say, well, if this is restrictive, show me what's excessive. But the point is, to your point, there's no general pathway to citizenship. If you're a Republican and you're even concerned about that and the Dreamers, this is your cup of tea, whether you like that position or not. $20 billion right. on border security, uh, the reasonable possibility for prosecution for those crossing the border. I mean, there's a lot of things in there that Republicans would like, and if they are keen on seeing Mr. Trump back in, in, in the White House, this could be the wind at his back. Yeah, and look, two things. One is, first of all, think about this. 60 votes, anything that's in this bill, if it comes out of the Senate, is going to have 60 votes and be able to pass a filibuster. Uh, how many of the ideas that Donald Trump had in his 2018 bill got made it into law. Zero. Why? Because he didn't have 60 votes in the Senate for it. This will have at least some improvements. And yes, the former president is going to be able to say, you know what? Nice thought, try. You, you tightened it asylum standards. You did a couple of good things. But here are four or five things that I want to do that you didn't do. And so nice try, but we got more to do. And he could win the political high ground while at the same time giving some very valuable tools that will help us put this situation uh, back in a place where, where it's manageable. But, uh, you know, the idea that this bill is a somehow or another is going to result in more people coming in the country, it, it, it gives us powerful new tools that every president, Democrat or Republican, will have to use to apply the asylum standards in this bill, which will reduce dramatically the number of people who come here and the number of people who can come here and can, and can claim successfully asylum. Yeah, uh, to your point, it's not perfect, but it's something. And right now, we've got nothing. Um, but it is what it is. We'll watch closely. Carl Grove, always good having you on, my friend. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.